Hello, I'm John Jensenius, a meteorologist and lightning safety specialist with the National Lightning Safety Council. Let's talk a bit about the science of thunderstorms and lightning. In simple terms, lightning is a giant spark of electricity, either in the clouds or between a cloud and the ground. But what actually happens to create that giant spark that we call lightning? Let's start by looking at how thunderstorms develop. There are three main ingredients needed for thunderstorm development. They are moisture, lift, and atmospheric instability. The moisture produces the small water droplets and ice crystals in the thunderstorm cloud. The lift causes air to rise and form clouds, and instability allows the storm cloud to rise rapidly in the atmosphere. On a typical summer day, heating from the sun causes air near the ground to start rising. As the air rises, it cools and moisture in the air condenses into clouds. If the atmosphere is unstable, those clouds can grow vertically into a thunderstorm cloud. Precipitation in the central part of the storm is responsible for getting the thunderstorm all charged up. Here, very small ice crystals collide with grapple, which are like pellets of snow. In the collisions, the ice crystals become positively charged and the snow pellets become negatively charged. The rising air in the thunderstorm cloud causes the lighter ice crystals to be carried upward in the storm, while the heavier snow pellets tend to fall. That leaves the thunderstorm positively charged in the upper parts of the cloud and negatively charged in the middle and lower parts of the cloud. Those negative charges in the middle and lower part of the storm cause positive charges to build up on the ground under and near the storm cloud. If you're outside, those charges could build up on you, which is a dangerous and potentially deadly situation. In-cloud lightning can occur between oppositely charged areas of the cloud, while cloud-to-ground lightning can occur between either the negatively charged area of the cloud and the ground, or the positively charged area of the cloud and the ground. The more common negative cloud-to-ground flash starts as what is called a step leader where negative charge starts stepping its way toward the ground, just looking for a connection. As the step leader approaches the ground, opposite charges, called streamers, develop upward from the ground to meet it. Once the connection is made, a very bright and powerful return stroke illuminates the lightning channel. The initial return stroke may be followed by dart leaders and additional return strokes causing the lightning to flicker. And all of this, from start to finish, happens in just a very small fraction of a second. Thunder is the sound that lightning creates as the air in the channel is heated and expands rapidly. If you count the number of seconds between the lightning and the thunder, and then divide by five, the result will tell you how many miles away the lightning was. Keep in mind though, if you hear thunder, you're likely within striking distance of the storm and need to be counting from a safe place. If you'd like to learn more about lightning or lightning safety, please visit our website at lightningsafetycouncil.org and have a safe and enjoyable summer.